In 1864, the Hunley became the world's first successful combat submarine, a feat that forever changed maritime history. Shortly after completing her mission, the submarine suddenly vanished. For over a century, her fate remained shrouded in mystery. Finally, in 1995, the legendary vessel was located, resting on her side at a 45 degree angle on the ocean floor, 4.5 miles off the coast of Charleston, South Carolina. And the final chapter of the Hunley's amazing journey is now being written. In 2000, the Hunley with the remains of her crew on board was lifted from the ocean floor in the exact position she was found. A virtual time capsule, the submarine was then delivered to the Warren Lash Conservation Center, a high-tech lab designed to unlock the mystery of her past. Hull plates were taken off to allow archaeologists to excavate the interior of the crew compartment. The remains of the maritime pioneers on board were removed and buried with honor. Before she can be conserved, the submarine must be rotated upright to sit on her keel, a complex procedure that represents a major challenge to the Hunley project. For rotation, the sling system, which was essential for the recovery, must now be replaced with a softer foam to cushion the submarine during rotation. Only half of these slings will be used in the rotation. The other half will be taken down one by one so that the old foam bag can be replaced with the softer material. The remaining slings will be removed just before the rotation starts. Turnbuckles currently connect the slings to the support truss. Just before the rotation, a small monitoring device called a load cell will be inserted between the turnbuckles and the truss. The load cells will be monitored at a command station to ensure that the submarine is evenly supported. As an additional precaution, a laser beam will be mounted to the back of the submarine and project to a target on the bow. If the laser moves outside the target, the team will be alerted to any change in the structure. To rotate the Hunley, turnbuckles on the starboard side of the submarine will be pulling the sling, while simultaneously the other side will be releasing the sling, so the submarine slowly moves upright, implementing a pull and release process. As the submarine begins to rotate, adjustable supporting blocks will be placed underneath. As the submarine turns upright, it will come to rest on the blocks supporting the keel. The slings will be dropped and truss removed. When the rotation is complete, the submarine's right side will be revealed, providing a new perspective on the Hunley that has not been seen since 1864.